all so, so much. I'm staring here in my empty classroom and I am sad because I don't have a million and one questions. I don't have all your laughs, all your hugs, all your stories, but hopefully soon one day we will get back together and we will all be able to give each other hugs and color in our little creative paradise here. So let's begin my class like we usually do, especially now during this time. Prayer is so, so important. So, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Okie dokie. So, this week, we celebrated Palm Sunday. Okay, Palm Sunday was this past Sunday. Palm Sunday is when we celebrate the feast of Jesus coming into Jerusalem riding on a donkey. A lot of you guys know I ride horses and I love my horses, but Jesus was not on a horse. Jesus came in on a donkey and it signified humility. So Jesus was being humble by doing so. Horses, when they were ridden during that time, signified power, they signified war, they signified victory, all of these things, because obviously a lot of soldiers would ride their horses off into battle. But that is not what Jesus did. Jesus sat on his donkey and he was greeted into the town of Jerusalem with palm fronds or the big leaves that are on those palm trees. That's why we usually take those um, to celebrate Palm Sunday, obviously. Now the leftover palms from Palm Sunday are then burned to create the ashes for next year's Ash Wednesday. So the ashes that we got this year in 2020 were from the palms from 2019 that the church burned and they stored for that purpose. So one of the colors that the priests wear during um, Palm Sunday is red. Now this color is very important. All of the vestments that we see the priests wearing throughout the liturgical year have a certain meaning. Usually wear very specific colors throughout the liturgical year. On Palm Sunday, that color is red. Red in this case signifies the blood of Jesus that he shed for us on the cross. I know that when you are confirmed, there is also red and throughout the year, there may be times where the priests wear red, but this instance, we're specifically speaking about the shed blood of Jesus. During confirmation, the red signifies the fiery tongue that the Holy Spirit has and that it will bring down upon the confirmation candidates. So for this week's assignment, I thought that we could go outside, get some fresh air, and praise God for the day that he has blessed us with. So I'm going to ask you guys to come and follow me outside. Okay, so I am outside here in our courtyard. What I want you guys to do with your parents' permission is I want you to go outside in your backyard. If you have a fence in your front yard, if your parents are there with you in your front yard, you are able to do that too. Just stay safe. Remember to stay six feet apart always. So you guys are gonna go around, you're gonna pick up some rocks that you like, maybe some leaves that you like, some twigs, whatever the case may be. And then I'm gonna get back to you with our assignment. Okay, so for this part of the assignment, as you can see, I already Lysoled everything. We went outside, we collected some rocks, some mulch, ew, and some leaves from some trees. So what we are gonna do, since it is not possible this year to get our palms from the church, we are going to create our own palm cross. Now your paper does not have to be green. I just have access to construction paper, so Mine is gonna be green, but you can always use whatever color you'd like and decorate your paper however you would like. Remember, creativity is a rule in this class. You need to always be as creative as possible. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make with my ruler a line here to begin my cross. I'm gonna try to keep it as straight as possible, as pretty as possible. I recommend using a pencil, so if you mess up like I just did, you can erase it 
and you can go back and fix it and make it a straight line. And see how this one's not aligned? I could always go back, erase it a little bit, and make sure that it is aligned. You could also just go straight down lightly and then continue this line here and here and then erase it here to make it easier. So if you need to watch this a few times, you can rewind a little bit just to see this specific little part. But there I have my cross. What you guys can do if you'd like is cut it out or you can make your cross a little bit thicker, you can make it a little thinner, whatever you would like to do. But this is pretty much the outline for the cross that we are using. So as you can see, I just cut out my cross. It's a little uneven, but that's okay. Nobody's perfect and neither am I. So as you can see, I have a bunch of different things here that I'm going to be gluing on to my cross for Palm Sunday. If you have liquid glue, that may work a little better or a glue gun that may also work even better than what we're doing here. But just to be safe, we're gonna use the Elmer's stick glue. We're gonna glue on our leaves. Let them dry for a little bit, and then I'm gonna glue on the next set of leaves that I have. To make the base of my cross. Now, if you guys have little pebbles and stuff, you can always add that in around add some dimensions, and if you have paint at home, I would highly recommend you to paint all of the little pebbles that you find, the stones that you find, and add your own colors, as long as you have mom and dad's permission and you can do it safely. So we're just gonna keep on adding, adding and adding. making our cross as beautiful as. So if you'd like on the sides, if you find some nicer looking mulch, you can always use that too, or whatever you would want. Remember, you don't have to create it exactly like mine. I never wanna see a replica of mine. I always wanna see your creative take on how you do things, okay? Remember, we all are created unique, and we all have our own unique ideas. So make sure you use them. You use your brain and be unique. That's the only thing we can do. So this is the finished product. As you guys can see, I probably got a little bit more supplies than what I needed, but I like the way this looks and I'm happy with how it came out. So this is my Palm Sunday cross. We always need to let things dry. So if I were doing this with hot glue, I would obviously leave it for a little bit of time so that it could dry. Since I use this Elmer's glue, I'm gonna probably have to leave it for a little longer. I did not glue down the rocks for this uh, demonstration, but that is fine because I'm not gonna be lifting it up. So always be careful with um, the rocks that you use and when you're finding them, just to stay safe and to be okay and keep that six foot distance with other people.